Hello everyone, this is Tuplex. I'm back from my Christmas vacation. Went to visit my family for a few days out of state. Uh, had a great time, but I am very happy to be back making some more factorial videos. Uh, thank you all for your patience waiting for me to return. Um, in the last episode, we had begun setting up a uranium mining outpost. And I'd like to do the uranium processing there as well, um, turning that uranium into uh, into uranium 235 and 238, um, and perhaps even doing, perhaps even making the fuel cells there as well. Uh, so what we have left to get this started is to get some sulfuric acid in there. Uh, we've made the decision to use barrels rather than a tanker car. Um, there has just recently been a change to barreling in the game so that now, uh, let me see where that attack is down here. Okay. Uh, so then now, now uh, barrels hold one fifth as much fluid. Uh, they hold 50 instead of 250, uh, but they go into barrels five times faster. So throughput should remain the same, but you'll need a lot more barrels than what has previously been needed. So in any case, um, artillery research is almost done, which is pretty exciting. Um, and before we move on, uh, we need to set up a couple more train stations. Uh, and I think I'll set them up down here underneath this path. I'd like to have one for oil and since our oil line is right here, I think having an oil station right here would be a good place to put it. And then we'll put one below that for sulfuric acid. So let us get started with that. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this thing, uh, minus all the belts and the splitters. Um, we're not gonna need those. And I think we'll start by just doing one car, one wagon that we will set up to hold half empty barrels and half full barrels. So this looks like it should be okay. Um, you know what, actually that's gonna be for the uranium, uh, the oil the oil we can put right here. Perhaps uh, I'll be in the way of that power pole. Yeah, why don't we put the oil station here and let me just check the spacing. All right, artillery's finished. That's awesome. Uh, what else can we do here? I think we can do everything now, can't we? Yes, we can. How are we doing on materials? Red circuits are still in short supply. Uh, for the next research, uh, what would be a good one? Coverex enrichment would probably be worthwhile. Level three, oh, let's do, yeah, let's do our robot upgrades. Okay. Um, what I want to do is just get get a handle on the spacing in between the stations so that I'm, I can make those consistent. So I'm just going to do this and then I can delete that blueprint right away. And then this will be the sulfuric acid station. So we'll call this one main dash oil, whoops, dash oil. And this one we'll call main acid. Okay. And then we just need to bring this up here to join the main line. We've already got our signaling in there. Um, and we can put another chain signal there. Uh, 
And actually I'll put... No, this is fine. I won't put any more signals. Okay, uh, we need to bring our fuel down here. So let's go ahead and bring that down. And then we'll just end it there. And then we'll need another power pole to get the power brought all the way down here. All right, we'll put in the light. Speaking of power, looks like we're still doing well. Um, and then we should put some gates here to prevent us from killing ourselves. Uh, we're gonna need some stone wall for that. I don't think I'm making stone wall anywhere. So I'll grab some brick. Sorry, it's been a while and it's hard for me to remember what we've already set up and what we haven't, but it shouldn't take too long to get back into things. Actually, while I was away, uh, I did have my laptop with me, which is good enough to run the game, but not good enough to run it and, <laughs> and make videos at the same time. Uh, but I did manage to, uh, I did manage to play some Factorio while I was out. I was playing some games with Angels and Bob's mods, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I think I need eight sections of gate. Yeah, that looks correct. All right, and then how do we want to signal this? We just basically need to watch for trains coming up here. So we can hook up these No, I don't want to hook up those. Do I? Um Let's see. Let's make a cargo wagon. I'm not sure exactly what happens to these chain signals when a train comes in here. I guess they turn red. Uh, where did it go? Here it is. Yeah, they do turn red. All right, so let's put a... Let's put a signal here so that we can separate this. And then I'll put another chain signal right there. Uh, so that we don't merge into one of those. Okay, so that way um, these will only turn red. Only these two will turn red if a train comes out here because I've created a new block here with this signal. All right. And then what we can do is we can connect this signal. All right. Bring that up there, and we'll connect that there, and connect that there, and then these will control the gates. So we will tell this to open the gate when red is equal to zero. Okay, so the gates are closed now, so we don't cross when there's a train coming. If I remove this, then the gates open, and we're free to go back and forth. All right. So that'll just help make sure we don't kill ourselves by accident. Okay, uh, let's make a locomotive. And then we'll need to make some barrels. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many yet. We will figure that out shortly. All right, so let's start by making a few empties. They take one steel each. All right, great. We've got one more level of... We've got one more level of cargo size that costs 450 uh, and the next level speed costs 150. So we'll do, we'll do whichever one is cheapest until we get our robots fully maxed out. At least up to the point to where we need space science packs. 
Okay, so I've got some barrels. Uh, these are in stacks of 10. So what we'll do, um, if I just hover over and use my middle mouse, then that automatically sets the filter for whatever I'm holding in my hand. So there's 10 rows. All right, so we'll set empty barrels. Oh, I don't want these coming out yet. All right, I'm going to remove these inserters for now. So we'll set empty barrels for half, and then we'll set, set full barrels for the other half. Um, and I think we can do the barreling down here. So let's set up. Oh, you know what? I'm in the wrong station. That train needs to be here where the uranium is. So, sorry about that. I think that means I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to reset my filters again. Okay. Okay, so those are for the empty barrels. So let's set up a little barreling and unbarreling operation here. Um, I think we're going to need filter inserters. Um, and I know that I made a bunch of filter inserters, so let's go and pick some of those up. I need more logistics slots. Um, let's see. I'll get rid of these for now. Well, I can just pick them up over here since I'm already standing here. Uh, one stack ought to do it. So we'll use filter inserters to take out the empty barrels and then filter inserters to place in the full barrels. So I think we're only gonna need two chests for this. Yeah, one for each. Well, let me see, that's 10. Here I've got one, two, three, four, five. That's 20 slots. Yeah, these uh, these wooden chests don't hold enough. So let's do let's do a couple of iron chests. Yeah, that'll be enough. Okay. So we'll put two filter inserters, uh, one coming out. And we need to filter this so that it only takes out the empty barrels. Otherwise, it'll take out the full ones. And then we'll have another inserter that puts in the sulfuric acid barrels. Like that. So one taking out, one putting in. And then we'll have a machine here. All right. Let's go for more speed. All right, and this one we're gonna set to fill sulfuric acid barrels. Um, and then we'll have another machine here that is making empty barrels. And we can feed this one manually. We know that we're gonna need 10 times 40. We're gonna need 400 barrels altogether. All right, and I already have I already have 30. So I need to put in another 370 pieces of steel. So that's 100, 200. Let's go grab some more steel just so that we make sure that we get the quantity correct. I don't want too much in the system. So we'll just come up here and grab some steel off the line. All right. And we need to put in another 170. Up. 
I had 290, I believe. So that's 300. Well, crap. Yeah. Let me take everything out. Sorry, I missed it up here. Okay, we have 40 barrels. I need 200 and 360 more. All right. So let me put in half of that stack plus 10 more. Great. All right, now we can turn that on. And then we just need to bring over a line of sulfuric acid. And that is going to output into this chest. And it's going to take its input from that chest. So once all the empty chests get put in the system, then it'll just, we can remove this and it'll just be operating between these two chests. All right. So uh, let's get a line over here. Uh, we should make another pump. All right, I already have some, that's good. Now, I wanna make sure that I have acid for circuits before I spend it all on making uranium. So let's hook up a circuit so that this only runs when we have more than, let's say 5,000 sulfuric acid, which means that it's currently turned off. Okay, let's make it 2,000 to start with. And once we get more acid, we'll turn it up because I do want to get at least something started. Okay, so I'll just finish bringing this over there and then we'll hook these pipes up and then we should be in business with the sulfuric acid barrels. And then we'll just basically set up uh, something similar on the other end at the mining outpost. Okay, acid is flowing. Okay, and we're filling up with barrels. All right, and as we can see, yeah, these barrels only take 50 acid now. Um, and it looks like we may have already used up all the acid we have in the tank. No, we don't, but it's already below 2,000. So uh, looks like this is all we're gonna get for now, uh, which is fine. That's enough to get things started at least. Oh, okay, and then uh, we should go ahead and set our filters here so that that's where all the full barrels go. Okay, we're ready to go. Um, let's see if we can match this color somehow. Yeah, that looks pretty close, I'd say. Maybe, maybe a little less red. Yeah, right about there. That looks like the right color. All right, next level is 500. Cargo size is 450, so we'll do cargo size next. Okay, so now we are going to go to the uranium mine, uranium one. And for now, I'll just tell it to go until we reach a circuit condition. I've got a little bit of a cold. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. Um, I am a little stuffed up. Hopefully it won't last too long. Okay. Um, good news is that we have more oil. Uh, actually, somebody made a comment on one of the other videos. Um, I think he must be playing the same map seed as I am. Uh, he said this ends up being like 13,000%. Uh, 
so that's good. So we can, uh, I think the next thing we'll do is set up an oil depot as well so that we can start bringing oil back to the base. Um, before we do that though, let's, uh, let's go and take out these biters. Or should we wait until we have artillery? What do we need for artillery? We need some concrete, which we don't make yet. Yeah, let's wait on that. We'll do it with the big guns. We're not making any pollution here yet. So um, I don't think we should get any attacks anytime really soon. But I'll make a couple artillery cannons so that we can try those out. That'll be fun. Okay. So now that we have this, uh, we basically want to reverse the process that we did back in the main base. which is going to be to empty the full barrels. All right, so the emptying, we will set up for sulfuric acid barrels. Um, let's get a couple of iron chests. All right, and then the full barrels, or the empty barrels we'll put in here. And actually, now that I think about it, for whatever we insert into the train car, we don't need we don't need a filter because uh, it's only going to be empty barrels going into here. All right, and then uh, again, we're going to have a. Oh, we have our machine down there. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep the machine up here. I think that's going to be better. Oh, we're missing some mining drills. Let's see if I can craft some. Yeah, looks like we just need five. So we'll get those taken care of in a minute. All right, and so this is going to be emptying the sulfuric acid. And then we just need to run a pipe from that over here. Right here, there we go. Should start mining. And these should all be connected. Aren't they all connected? Yeah, why isn't this one getting any? Maybe we just don't have enough acid. Yeah, there's none in the pipe. Yeah, I think we're going to need to get a lot more acid over here. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we have four belts. Did I get all of them? Yes, I did. Yeah, and these are connected too. Um, now I need to make some centrifuges, which I also need concrete for, okay. And then I think a single belt of uranium ore is going to be enough for us to work with. Okay, so let me head back, we'll see if we can load up some more. acid. Um, so I'll set this to, we'll go to main acid. And in this case, um, we'll run on each end based on an inactivity level. All right, so we'll do five seconds of inactivity and then we'll move on. And we'll do the same here. I'll just do five seconds of inactivity. So once it finishes loading and unloading whatever it's got, then it'll go back, it'll go to the next station. All right, so let's go back to the main station. Um, and then I will make some centrifuges. Uh, I don't recall if we're making concrete yet. I think we are not. So let's, uh, let's set up some concrete production here 
before we end today's episode. And then in the next episode, we will start playing with artillery and processing the uranium. Yeah, and I still don't have enough acid here. So we'll, we'll work on the oil depot as well. All right, so to make concrete, we need stone bricks, iron ore, and water. So we obviously have a lot of stone brick over here. Um, iron ore we have up here. And where's the closest water? We have water there as well. So, where would be a good place to do that? I could tap into here for the iron ore, but this is not going to last very long. So I don't want to do that. That would be temporary at best. Ah, we do have iron ore here for the steel. And we always will have iron ore for the steel. So, this is pretty much perfect. I didn't even plan that. All right, so we just need to insert some of each of those and we'll put that into a requester chest so we can pick it up with bots. I'll limit this to say 2000 pieces and then we need to pipe in some water. Uh, and we happen to have water down here. Like I said, this really, it would be hard to make this work out any better than this without planning it. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so we'll move these inserters up there since that pipe is now in the way. Um, the only way this could be more perfect is if I could get a power pole in the middle here, but I guess I'm gonna need two power poles. That's okay, can't win them all, I guess. And we'll put a light there. All right, and we'll start making the concrete. Now this takes 10 seconds, but you get 10 pieces of concrete every time. So um, it doesn't take, it doesn't take too long. And you get 10 concrete for one piece of iron ore. So the, it doesn't use up very much iron at all. All right, so uh, that'll do it for this episode. I'll continue cranking out the concrete here. I will craft some centrifuges so that we can start processing the uranium and get that set up. I will also craft a couple of artillery turrets and some ammunition. I do have some cannon shells from for the tank. I think I think they use the same ammo. I'm not sure I haven't used one yet. We'll find out soon. And uh, then we'll have some fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.